Hi everybody, I'm just uploading this video because I believe it is a, a video that falls under fair use for research and educational purposes. Um, so I'm a huge fan of Silent Hill and I like to see any type of um, anything to do with uh, Silent Hill basically. Uh, even game wise or fan game wise or even games that didn't even get released or that are like prototype builds. Um, so this is kind of interesting to see the history of Silent Hill and what happened. Um, basically what you can do in older versions of the game stuff like that so hopefully you like this video um, and uh, this is it what's up everybody welcome back to Diamatics gaming channel today we're looking at Silent Hill Origins the uh, alpha version or prototype version for PlayStation 2 um, so this game as you can see from the menus here is kind of a, a very early prototype so this was developed by Climax Studios um, on the Ghost Rider engine, so Ghost Rider for the PlayStation 2, and this build is actually dated May 17th, 2006. So this may be one of the first, if not uh, the first version created of the game. It is heavily unfinished and missing features and textures, and they're mostly all placeholders. As you can see by this menu, it says unlock Ghost Rider game character and all this stuff like that. Um, there's only one map on this. Um, it seems like the map was made um, and the new character, and it was just kind of put into the Ghost Rider game. Um, but yeah, this is a very interesting build here. Um, as you can see, like, all the unlocks and everything are the same as the Ghost Rider game itself here. Um, and that was actually made by Climax as well, the Ghost Rider game. So there's not really many controls. I mean, the music and everything like that it has the Ghost Rider chain, the, uh, on bike controls and on foot controls from Ghost Rider itself there. Vibration, widescreen on and off. Uh, the widescreen on is pretty good because it doesn't make anything, makes your field of view better um, for if you're playing in 1080p anyway. So these are like the combo attacks that um, Ghost Rider does or has in the game, but it actually doesn't even work um, for the this character that's in this game. Um, I'll have some more information in the description down below as well. And uh, also another link to a YouTube channel that has more information on um, old prototype builds of uh, Silent Hill Origins. Um, but yeah, this is uh, basically it's one attack. Um, you can't even use the gun or anything like that. I tried doing everything I could in the menu, but I couldn't do anything. So he kind of runs kind of awkwardly as well. I don't think there's any much animations that were complete for this build. Um, there was another build of this game released for the PlayStation Portable, um, which is more complete. It was more of like a, a demo version of the game. Um, so this is like the meat cutter or the butcher level, I guess you can say. Um, but uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Like there's missing textures and animations. and I don't know where the audio is from, the music. I believe it could be from Ghost Rider. I'm not 100% sure though. But uh, it's kind of it's kind of cool to see. I think the character name is Travis at this point. I'm not even sure. Um, but yeah, in the older or in the yeah the older build of this, uh, there's actually a, a monster that's laying on the table that you can uh, interact with and fight in the PlayStation Portable build. But um, I'm not too sure what Climax was uh, trying to achieve or achieving. I think they were just trying to make a next Silent Hill game and uh, for the PlayStation 2. But then. They kind of rerouted to the PlayStation Portable and stuff like that. Um, so this is basically the last part of the, the level here in this game. And uh, where this little, not even a tech demo, just a prototype build ends. Uh, so this is the meat cutter's room or the butcher's room um, where there's like hanging meat as you can see. There's not many map or light maps or lighting or anything like that. There's only like a couple red lights and your flashlight that your character has. Um, it's kind of funny his animation is there. But yeah, he does have a gun in his hand, but he can't use it. Um, and the, the HUD is still from Ghost Rider as well. Uh, I guess, I don't even, I never played Ghost Rider, so I don't know if it's like Souls Collected and your chain power or whatever, but you can actually uh, access the debug menu as well. So I did that here. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what you can do because there's not many controls. There's this movement, attack, and walk around, and the debug menu if you push, I think it's the L3 button in. You can do display your FPS, different little things here, memory details, and uh, fly camera mode. Oh yeah, so you can actually 
use your camera as a uh, flying around and stuff like that. Effects, bloom, motion blur, and uh, the debug menu actually goes past the screen so you can't really even see unless you close up the other parts of the debug menu. So, explore music. Missing polygons, enable multi. So, yeah, you can actually fly around now with the camera since I enabled that with the debug menu. So, it's kind of interesting if you want to do like close up of what I guess Travis's face looked like at the time. I believe that's his name, not 100% sure. But he looked completely different, of course, than the final version of the game. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully, this is this video is just kind of like for educational purposes of like what Climax Studios or Climax was going to do. I believe this is for the, um, the English developer side of Climax Studios, I'm not 100% sure, but um, it's pretty cool that you can actually like fly around with the camera um, just to see different things. But uh, yeah, there's not much to this prototype build here at all. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Um, there is a bit of a glitch there. I mean, I disable the debug menu, but then it still shows up and it's kind of like to the side. Um, but yeah, you can't actually go back once you access the fly cam mode. You can't go back to normal mode, I don't believe. I tried to, but it just doesn't do anything. You can fly through the map. So there's uh, Travis's face. Kind of looks like uh, Daryl from The Walking Dead with the vest and everything. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. There's the main menu here. You can't go down to save or options. It's just start. And I restarted it here, and, uh, the fly cam mode is still enabled, so you can't change that of it. So. But, uh, yeah, that is the look at the Silent Hill Origins alpha version or prototype version for the PlayStation 2. I hope this video was educational and uh, it falls under fair use for research purposes and stuff like that. So uh, comment, like, and subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys again soon.